and I'm so excited. I know, me too. There aren't enough of us in the field. I know. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with you and getting to know you. And me too. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Welcome to the Unexpected Caregiver Radio Show. I'm Kari Barrett, and thanks for joining me. You know you're an unexpected caregiver if taking care of a loved one or parent has become part of your daily or weekly routine. I have been a caregiver both personally and professionally for 15 years, and that inspired me to write The Unexpected Caregiver, How Boomers Can Keep Mom and Dad Active, Safe, and Independent, a book that gives you creative ways to reconnect with loved ones and maintain your sanity. You can order a copy of that book at my website, unexpectedcaregiver.com. This show is dedicated to you, the unexpected caregiver, so that you can become as educated and empowered as possible. Preparation is the key to experiencing a more joyful caregiver journey. So do yourself a favor, take 30 minutes out of your day and let's talk about this popular topic. Let's share some real life stories and let's figure out how to make the most of this journey and have some fun along the way. I am so excited today because right here in the studio is Dr. Marion Summers, a.k.a. Dr. Marion, and she is on tour across the country with her beautiful bus that I've just taken a tour of for a tour called Three and Four Need More, and we'll let you know what that means as we go on, but I want to give you a little information on the background of this beautiful person who is sitting in front of me. She has been a geriatric care manager for more than 40 years and an elder care expert and author of the book, Elder Care Made Easier, a very hands-on practical book if you need help with any elder care issues. She's here today as a spokesperson for Three in Four Need More, and this is a national campaign to raise awareness about planning ahead for long-term health care, something we have definitely talked about in that show, even though my book is titled The Unexpected Caregiver. Our goal with the show is to help you be the expected and prepared caregiver. Three in Four Need More is traveling the country all summer, in a 60s-era Greyhound bus to educate Americans about their long-term care needs, cost, and options. And another really exciting thing is they're promoting a Get Back Your Life contest. For anyone caring for an aging parent, it's sort of an extreme makeover for caregivers, and it's worth $50,000. We'll give you some more details about that, but most important is, Dr. Marion, that you're sitting here in the studio with me, and when we saw each other... We kind of knew that we were kindred spirits. Oh, absolutely. Welcome, welcome to the Unexpected Caregiver Show. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So you have got a rich background, and what I find fascinating, so our listeners get to know a little bit about you, is you started your elder care work at the age of nine. Can you just tell a little bit about that? I was born in uh, New York City in what is considered Spanish Harlem, and we were in a five-story walk-up building, and three-quarters of the people in the building were elderly and mostly had no families. So at the age of nine, I started to run errands for them, Mm -hmm. bring them to church, and they had very different churches that they wanted to go to, so I got exposed to... Churches for, that worked on Saturday, churches that worked on Sunday, and I did their grocery shopping, <laughs> and I heard their stories, yeah. and I fell in love with their stories. And since we had no grandparents at all, this was a wonderful way of expanding my sense of family. So mm-hmm. I learned very early that the elderly have stories, and they have food to offer, because <laughs> they always <laughs> offered me soup or bread or sandwiches or peanut butter and jelly, whatever. Yeah. So I got to make the association of of their kindness, their generosity. No matter how poor they were, Mm -hmm. they always had bread and butter. They always had stories. And they took me under their wing, or I took them under my wing. I'm not sure who did what, but we blended. And I fell in love with the elderly at a very early age and have continued to love them. Yeah, and that really directed your life. Oh, absolutely. It has been my road path all through life is to take care of the elderly, understand them, help the caregivers in this country who are taking care of the elderly because the caregivers in this country are underappreciated. They're putting their hearts and soul into doing a very responsible job, mostly an unpaid job, and only now are businesses starting to appreciate that elder care issues are just as important as baby care. When somebody has a baby, 
most of the time they can take off from work. But right. if somebody has elder care issues, they're spending their lunch and their vacation right. and every evening and sometimes every weekend taking care of another person. The caregivers have full-time jobs, responsibilities, families. They're taking care of the dogs and cats. And all of a sudden, Grandma falls and they have to take care of Grandma. And exactly. it's, it's a wonderful responsibility, but an enormous responsibility at the same time. So you've been traveling the country. Tell us a little bit about the three in four need more. And by the way, the website is really simple. It's just the number three in the number four, three in four need more dot com is where you can follow the tour. And there are films that are you can follow. It's a great tour to watch. You can see you go through all the different countries. You get caught up in parades. And <laughs> I love it. It's very it's very human. You're putting a human face to this thing called caregiving and and elderhood. Caregiving around this country is as a phenomena that we've never really experienced to this extent. We have an aging population that fortunately is living longer because we have the health benefits. But with that also comes enormous responsibilities. And we've never had an aging, growing population the way we have. And we have fewer young people that are trained to take care of the elderly. And this is not only happening in this country, but it's happening around the world. And really nobody is fully prepared for this. No, we're not. Even though we ought to be, if we look at the numbers and the tsunami of all of us older adults that are coming along. Well, I'm tail end baby boomer. So I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Will anyone be ready for me? <laughs> uh, so tell us a little bit. You've been, uh, you started the three and four need more tour in New York. Yes, we started in Times Square, Yep. and I have a bus called Nellie. She is a <laughs> 1968 Greyhound bus that has been converted into a film studio. Yeah. So we're taking this around the country, started out in New York, went down the coast, going across the country now. We will end up in California, going up and down the coast of California. And each step of the way, we're talking to the man and woman on the street. Mm -hmm. We're talking to radio stations, TV stations, people in administration. When I was in Washington just a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to a senator and a congressman mm -hmm. all about elder care issues. How prepared are we? Are we prepared? Do people realize that three out of four Americans are not prepared for long-term health issues? Right. And that means be somebody taking care of you. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a major catastrophe. It could be all of a sudden you cannot do your activities of daily living and somebody has to do the shopping, the, the bathing of you, and the whole roster of those activities. Right. And we're not prepared for it. And sometimes we count on our children to take care of us. But we now have a culture where our children very often go where the jobs are right. and they're not near us. So we don't have the old-fashioned family structure of each generation living with each other and each generation taking care of each other. Right. We also don't understand in this country the aging process because right. we don't have our seniors living with us. So we don't see the aging process and it's not a sexy subject. It's not a sexy <laughs> subject. I know. I look in the mirror and I see different wrinkles pop up and changes in me. And society... Society says that's bad. Well, we have a youth culture that yeah. is getting older. Yeah, so. Exactly. <laughs> And everyone that's listening to this radio station is getting older, whether they admit it or, or not. not. Exactly. So now is the time to think about how can I protect myself, whether I'm protecting myself as an individual and taking better care of my health. Am I smoking? Do I do drugs? You know, or any of the other right. negative things. Am I putting the right kind of food into my body? Am I exercising? I'm 71 years old. I'm going across the country now for the fourth time educating people take care of yourself. The, the, when you take good care of yourself, your body responds by basically staying healthier. Right. Well, and I can see it, listeners, uh, I can see it in your eyes because you're, you're, you have a glow about you. You have a shine about you that says, I'm loving life. I do love life. I know. I, I can tell that. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, and I'm very grateful to have been given another day. And I'm also very grateful for the sponsorship we've yes. had. The three and four campaign are is about long-term care insurance, but that is simply one option. It may not be the option for everyone. Right. And for people who are living in a home, that home may have equity. And if they need a reverse mortgage, I want people to know what 
reverse mortgage is all about. And one reverse mortgage is sponsoring a $50,000 contest. Oh, I love this. Let's hear about this contest. And again, the contest is called... What is it? Does it have a name? Yeah, Get Back Your Life. Yes. And it's for caregivers, right? It's for caregivers who have an elder care issue. Yep. And this would be a sponsorship of $50,000 worth of products and services. So if they need a new roof or they need a new car or they need an adapted car or they need a stairway that goes, an electronic stairway that goes up and down, whatever their needs are, maybe just doing the pavement out in front so that grandma can walk without tripping or banisters all over the place and safety bars, whatever the need is for that winner, we will go in and do everything that they need. And if they don't enter the contest, they're not going to win. No, they're the not going to win, right. There will so be how, one do we enter, how do they enter the contest? Go to 3 and 4 needmorecom backslash contest. Okay, 3 and 4 need more da- uh, backslash contest and enter, tell your story, right? Just tell your story. Just tell it. It doesn't have to be fancy. We're not looking for a whole lot of jazzy stuff. Just honestly tell your story of what your need is, what you have gone through, how, how it has changed your life being a caregiver. Sometimes you're taking care of someone you really love, and sometimes you are just socially stuck with somebody that you're caring for. Right. So, but whatever your story is, tell it, write it out, submit it to 3 and 4 needmorecom backslash contest. There's going to be one winner. It could be you. We're going to take a break here at the Unexpected Caregiver Radio Show. We're talking today with Dr. Marion, who is on a na- nationwide tour with three in four need more and one reverse mortgage. And she's waking up America to the fact that we have got to pay attention to the fact that we probably will need some form of help. We'll be right back after this brief message. At Northfield Retirement Community, we have just what you're looking for in housing options for older adults. From independent living to our many assisted living options, from memory care to our care center, when you enter our campus, you'll find an outpouring of friendly and happy staff, engaging activities, and plenty of coffee and conversation throughout the day. Call Chris today at 664-3466 to set up a personalized tour. Mention this ad and receive lunch at our cafe. Northfield Retirement Community. Innovation. Choice. Tradition. Welcome back to The Unexpected Caregiver. This is Kari Barrett. Today we are talking with Dr. Marion, who is on a nationwide tour with three and four need more and one reverse mortgage. She's got a big 60s bus called Nelly that is trucking along across America and it is pulled up into our studio here today and just so thrilled to have you, Dr. Marion. And, you know, we can find you, we can follow the tour, which I think is just a, a hoot because I've, I've gone on and seen the videos. You can follow the tour at three and four need more. There are weekly films there. And you can also also follow via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and then at your website, which I have spent quite a lot of time on, you've got little snippets, little education, either video or radio that people can learn from, download, use. Maybe it's even sometimes easier. I do that at my website too, to educate family members, say, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, sister, I heard this video. I listened to this audio on this topic, and it made some sense. Have you thought about to start those conversations? What do you hear?